Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, we're going to be seeing how we can extract the information from a document or from a pages or images. So whatever the information present in those kind of documents, where we will be able to extract it. So let's see how we're going to be doing it. So here I, we can see that uh, we have a sample image which consists of a mix of documents. So inside this uh, single image, we have this three figures and these paragraphs and this title and this table. So in this particular video, we're going to be seeing how we can individually extract only these figures and even these titles from this particular image and even this only this paragraphs from this particular image. So in this particular uh, tutorial, we're going to be seeing how we can extract all this information individually or even you can extract it uh, whole of this information in one go. So let us see how we can do this. So for doing this, I have a come up a, a best library, uh, which is called uh, layout parser. So you can go over this and just take a look uh, at this library. It's in a deep learning based uh, approach where you will be given a document and you will be able to extract the information from it. So it has been trained on a huge data set, uh, which I will show you. So you can go to this uh, uh, documentation and you can see that it has uh, shown. Uh, so you can see that it, it is trained on huge data set that is uh, HD data set, which is basically based for uh, training on the text documents for labeling on kind of uh, title paragraphs and all. Similarly, it, uh, there is one more data set, Publi in it, and the Prime Layout, and Newspaper Navigator, Tech Table Bank. So these are the databases on which this type of models has been trained. And it has been using Datatron 2 as a framework at the back end. And the model it has been using are Faster RCNN, Marks RCNN, Retina Net, and so on. So there are a variety of models which has been trained on this particular data set and internally it is being using objection for this and about that uh, objection we are using Deuteron 2 as a framework so this whole library layout parser is basically based on this uh, Deuteron 2 model and uh, it has been trained on many of such kind of objection model for a uh, huge data sets which i just discussed now so let's see how we can be uh, using this layout parser for extracting the relevant information from that particular document so first we need to pip install a layout parser so let us run few of the installations and then we'll come with uh, a particular approach like how we'll be extracting the information from this document so let us run it okay so now we have uh, installed all of these dependencies required for this library to be uh, used so now we can uh, take a look at the image uh, so we are actually taking that same image which i just showed you uh, uh, on the starting of this video so i'm taking that same image and reading it from uh, cv2 that is open open cv and just converting into a, a rgb format and now after the conversion of this particular image uh, we'll will we'll initiate this library which will which is layout parser and will import it as an lp and now we're going to be using Datatron 2 models which it has been already been trained so you can also use your own Datatron 2 model or you can also train a model by yourself on your own data and you can just bring it out over here and uh, just configure with those settings and you can just work it on with your own train model so uh, right now i'm just using a pretend model uh, which which uh, on which the huge data set it, it has been trained on so i'm using that so for this uh, i'm just putting in the link or configuration settings from where it will be downloading so uh, as i opened over here so you can check it out like uh, the links and all which we, which you can uh, later change the models so right now i'm using uh late net and uh, its link is this so you can download the configuration from this link so you have to copy it and you have to paste it over here so that it can download all the configuration settings for this particular model and you can pass an argument saying that at which confidence level you will be uh, saying the detected uh, paragraphs or text or title so this is the confidence level by using this uh, uh, configuration settings you can mention it over here and then you have to mention the layout label map so in this label map you have to be mentioning uh, what kind of uh, the documents you will be identifying inside it so i will be identifying text title list label and figure 
with all its uh, value in given form of indexes so you can find this information over here so you can see if, if you're using pub linet then you have to give this level map if you're using hj data set so you have to give this level map and so on for other kind of uh, models you want to train for so you can find this all this relevant information over here and you can just go and go through it and just uh, check it out like how these things work for different kind of models now so let us walk through this this particular uh, training of this model and now we are, we are initiating these things and it will be downloading all those uh, configuration settings and uh, uh, and uh, model settings for this particular return to so we are using mask rcnn so you can see after running after downloading the model and it has been able to get to the images by using this uh, one dot get command and it is able to draw the layout so you can see how easily it has been able to detect that this is a particular uh, segment of image and it is a particular segment for paragraph so and even you can see it is it has been able to here the title even that even the uh, table so these are the information which is able to gather it uh, from this uh, from this uh, object action model and now uh, suppose we want to extract only this text part only this paragraph from this particular uh, document so we have to pass uh, only this uh, set of lines so that it will be able to identify or able to capture only this uh, paragraph from these images so let us run it and you can see that it, it has been able to capture all these bounding boxes of this uh, paragraphs from this particular image so you can see the information inside this and even you can see the confidence score for each and every particular bonding boxes so it is stored in this format and from this even we are able to extract the figures which are present inside this uh, document so similarly you will be able to see the bonding boxes with all this information inside this uh, figure block so this is how it has been able to uh, extract and now we'll use simple code to just extract the information and print out only that particular paragraph or the text which has been detected on this so let's run this code and let's see how it has been able to segment this for only for the paragraph so you can see now it has stopped detecting for this particular figure inside this image document and it has only been concentrating on this paragraph so we were extracting the information from this uh, whole images and from the paragraph so this is what it is able to identify and it has skipped all these tables because initially it was identifying all of the information from this but now we have passed that we have to give only text information to be detected so we are able to identify only the paragraphs not table not title or not images so this is how you can extract or you can you can detect uh, bounding boxes or you can detect the paragraph inside a document and after this to extract the information from these paragraph paragraphs you can just uh, take an OCR model and you can train it on so for that I am using a tesseract to extract the information from this whole of the uh, detected boxes so let us run this and install the tesseract OCR So I have installed this Tesseract OCR by using uh, uh, sudo apt install Tesseract OCR and we are going to use this uh, agent from layout parser which has already been provided by layout parser. So this piece of line code will help you to extract the text information from this particular uh, paragraph which has been detected. So let us print it out and let's check how the information is being extracted from this particular uh, paragraphs. So it, it, is, it will take time uh, to run it and we'll wait for a few seconds. So now the execution has been completed and now we can just take out the information from this dated box. So as you can see, it is able to detect the, uh, all the information and it is able to extract all the paragraphs information from it. So this is what it is and this is how beautiful the layout parser has been designed. So you can just edit the paragraphs from the images and you can extract the text from it and then later on you can use this information for your own uh, progress or you for your own projects so even you can extract uh, the titles from it so let me just change it and let's run the code again so initially I gave text that means I was uh, extracting the 
paragraphs from it but now i will be uh, extracting the only the titles from it so let's give the title and let's run this whole code so that it will be able to extract only the titles so you can able to see that it is directing the title part and now we want to extract this information from the uh, test right OCR so we'll run this and it will be able to extract all the information that has been directed so the information here is title so it is able to extract the title information from here so this is how the beautiful uh, layout parser has been designed and at the back end it is using Deuteron 2 which is an object uh, framework and moreover that we have used marks rcn to gather the information and get the uh, models and detect the information from the document so it is able to locate where the information is present and after that we are using tesseract to extract the information so this is all about this video hope you enjoyed it and keep liking these videos